Eagles is not that bad is what I'm sitting here saying, but we All sitting right. here talking about best and worst. Voice? You, you, I was born like this. I have Samuel <laughs> Jackson syndrome. That's how I talk. <laughs> hey, yes. Anyways. What's good? Welcome, welcome to Tunnel Takedown, the only sports show that cares less about what you did on the court. Don't give a damn. And it's all about how you showed up to the game. So come correct. Um, Y'all know who I am. Stylish Stoner, Rex Hogan himself, live in the flesh. And to my right is my esteemed co-host. You know who he is if you listen to that podcast, The Clubhouse. You hear him talking that, that shit. Oh, you Miles already Jones. Know. What's Jones. up? What's happening? Shit. We're here. And new to our complex family, I am proud to introduce. You may have seen her face on a few Nike campaigns. Okay, That's over yeah. I will need, yeah. I will need we'll that stop. plug. She is a rising fashion designer. Talk about soon it. Soon comes, soon comes. Khalees Anthony, welcome, 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 thank welcome, you, thank welcome. You. Excited to be here. How perfect is it that we're launching the show right after the NBA All Star Weekend? Fire. Perfect timing. Now I was down Fire. there. There was some good fashion. And then there was some shit that we are really gonna we enjoy to talk talking about. about. We to talk about. Now it. it's time for us to do our job and break down the best looks we think for the past okay. week. Okay. Rex, tell them how this works. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go down. Right. We got a three prong rating system Three. based on originality, one confidence, two and execution. Three. The player with the highest score will take basically they place in the tunnel right. takedown leaderboard at the end of the season right. and be crowned right. king. Of the court, right? In terms of this sauce with they fashion, we're gonna get right into it. Kevin fucking Durant, yeah, let's go. KD's wearing the Union Los Angeles Jordan ones, he's wearing a waiting to exhale t shirt and Noon Goons oversized flannel. Oh, also, nice. holding the KD 11 Aunt Pearls 2019 version. Oh. I will yell this from the treetops I hate expensive flannel. It's I'm... only 419, but it's That's only 419. Where did you work grow up for at? Him. Girl, I mean, can I get one of them silver spoons? Please, please, let me borrow one. I want, you know, I like That's frosted flakes. Clearly, we know. Clearly, we know how anyway, much. Anyway, I'm gonna give him. Bag. I'm gonna give him a I seven for originality, okay. just because this is original to his true aesthetic, okay. how he usually pulls up. And then I'm gonna give him an eight for confidence. I mean, he's wearing, he's holding his own shoes, like dedicated to his late aunt. Those are not yeah. a part of the fit. We're not gonna be. I know, that. but he's still. So we're talking about overall confidence. Not everybody to... in the NBA has their own shoe. Like they dropped that weekend. Like. He good. Eight. Eight for confidence. Overall execution, I'm going to give him an eight. He's valid. Senior Jones? How do you uh, feel? Originally, I gave him a five. Now, confidence, I gave him a four. He looks like he just put the clothes on. Overall execution, I gave it a seven. I gave him an eight for originality. And you're probably like, what the fuck? How could you yes. give him an eight for yes. originality? Because it's Kevin Durant. So are we moving the goalposts with these? Hold on. Wait a minute. I, we Individual style. That's what we rating right now, right. right? His individual style overall, it's not groundbreaking, motherfucker. Like, we're not about to sit here and say that you got kids, idolize, and want to dress like Kevin Durant out here. I hope not. Okay, then. So, for originality, he gets an eight. I feel like he really stepped outside of his box and got in his bag with that one. Okay. Confidence. I give him a nine. His face, usually he comes in, he's kind of <laughs> head down. You know, I'm okay. just coming to get straight to business today. Head up. And execution, again, is Kevin Durant. I think he came correct with the flannel. Huge fan of the vintage tee. If it's an original single stitch, you know, not a repop, not a, not a. Now you can, if you no, look at yeah, the, you, uh, you can tell the neck. That neckline. That's right. not, <laughs> you can tell the neck. Uh, and the pants, I just don't believe in high water pants, but he don't look bad being that he tall. I think tall people pull it off better than short people any day. So I gave him a nine. So we've got a total of 65 points for KD. Let's see who's next. My man from the Washington Wizards, Bradley Beal. Now, this is how you look when you beat all the other promoters and you get to the final level of brunch promoter. For originality, I'm going to give him a seven. He didn't do too much, like, as far as, like, trying to pull up with a whole suit. Right. So it was more of, like, a casual, elevated An look. ensemble. For confidence, I'm going to give him a seven. He's looking a little uncertain. I'm going to give him an eight for the execution. It looks good. It works for him. I enjoy a good custom jacket. I enjoy somebody custom. that takes. This is a custom Alba Legacy. Uh, Aldo Legacy. Jacket. Alba. Now I gave him a nine for originality, confidence. A nine. He looked like he'd go on a date. He like he's accepting an award. Last but not least, execution. I gave him a nine. I think of he pulled this off perfectly. Of course you did. If he had better shoes on, it would have been a ten. Here at Tunnel Takedown, I just want y'all to know. 
that Rex Hogan is going to provide the integrity and the real shit. I don't give a fuck about your stylist. I don't care about who bought Yikes. your clothes. So look, originality, you getting the eight, bruh, okay? That's you, still you, valid. That's, that's still valid. Good. The only reason why is because it's fitted and it's tailored and I'm not mad at the way that the clothes fall on you. All right, I don't, and I, I gave him a seven. So that's cool. He right. getting a seven five for confidence. Yo, the way five. he was going Point off, five. I was expecting for you to give him a four. Yeah. Anyways, seven for confidence. He got a seven five because like you could tell he biting his lip because he's like, damn. I might have just should have went with a leather and some jeans. <laughs> fuck. Now he's 7.5 on the execution too, which gives his ass a total of whatever the fuck you add all them up to. 72 points. <laughs> Wait a minute, so does that mean, that mean he going to the leaderboard? Because of y'all. And you was mad. Because of y'all. Because of KD. You Listen, thought KD's fit was better as well. You thought Definitely. KD. Well, guess what? I just Definitely like more realistic. more effort. That's Definitely more realistic. That's guess, all, I'm, guess where KD isn't on the leaderboard. Since we're doing this together now, uh -huh. I wanted to see, you know, what you was working with before. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Or most recently. Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Oh! You're welcome. Oh, he got this. Oh, he got the thighs out. He had the thighs. You got your quads you out. You got the poom poom you shots. Your, you got your quads out. You've been doing a lot of squat <laughs> thrusts. A lot of squat thrusts. With this fit probably being your worst. Oh, shit. Let's get into the worst fits of All Star, which we'll call Flagrant Fits of the Week. Okay, so first up, Shy Gilgis Alexander. Boy, boy, boy. You don't even look like you play in the league. Let's start yeah. here. Pants. Big what the fuck. You could have at least went to your man's, hollered at your tailor on your block, and got him taking it a little bit to sit properly on your damn sneakers. The only thing he got right were the MoMA yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of those. Air Force Ones. As far as the whole look, it just looks like raw meat to me. Chop <laughs> beef. I think if he would've came through with a white shirt underneath instead of black and just gotten rid of the bottoms itself, like which is maybe just like a, a black jogger or something like that. Mm -hmm. I just think that his coat too small too. And then right here, the face. The I was just face. about to, I was gonna say, whose runway did you think you on? Drag him. He looked like Dookie from The Wire. I don't like none of this. That was really bad. Bruh. But let me show you something. Even worse. I didn't know Steph Curry had anything in his closet this expensive. He makes everything look bad. You got this bum ass Amiri cardigan. It Bruh. looks like. For something. the record, yeah. Amiri's not really that fire. Amiri's People not fire at all. No, we're not going for the record. Rex going to go, fuck like, Amiri. They're Amiri's only going to say fire. that it's fire because of what it's like. Because Meek expensive. said it. That's it. If Meek no, never said she it, just hit it. No, 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 no. Because Repeat it's the last part. Thank you, Brad. Just like, because something is a luxury piece or it's like a poppin' brand name doesn't mean yeah. you have style. It doesn't mean that it's fire. It looks like a Lisa Frank cardigan. It so looked like a PTA cardigan. It's a wrap for that. I don't think he's really confident in what he wears. I don't know what Steph Curry wore before he got into the NBA. But Warm -ups. I think, I think he's been getting roasted in the locker room and that's why he tried to step it up every game. They cannot roast him in the locker room. The Warriors you. can't roast him in the locker room. They can't. Everybody dresses bad they on the Warriors. It's, we are, they already got rings, so now what else is there to do? So now we just, gotta crack jokes. It's just a locker room full of badly dressed people making fun of Steph Curry? Yeah. Can we please talk about something else? Cause now I'm annoyed. Since we can't possibly break down all the looks, right. let's jump into a fast break. Okay. We got 24 seconds on the clock, and we have to say our first reactions based on these looks. 24 oh, seconds? Shit. 24 seconds all right, let's, let's do this. It. Let's do this. I'm going first. Go, Rax. Uncle. E for effort. A hey, whippersnapper. Look us. Canceled. No Gucci. T.I. gonna fuck you up. Mighty Morphin Power Basketballer. I actually like this hoodie. I hate the pants. He tried it. <laughs> now these shoes are hurt. Girl. Fear and loathing. <laughs> Express spring campaign. Say hello to the bad guy. Martin Luther King had a dream. When your son get flyer than you. Now, son, you have to understand you are a black man. Sir, my car don't swipe. You got to punch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Moving on. Now, oh, as exciting shit. as the tunnel looks were, there was a whole lot of interesting fits going on on the sidelines. Let's take a look. Let's go. Mm. Oh, we got, got Russell J. Westbrook. Cole, Westbrook. With my gym teacher. Now, Russell Westbrook had one of my favorite outfits this this uh, this past Saturday. It's terrible. He had, the, he had the Converse's on. He had that super athletic fit. He had the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, my Lord. Just he attack. had a little too much ankle, though. Two chains. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Now, the this shoes is a great, are a no, but this is a I actually great jacket really right like this jacket. Exactly. This is a great jacket. The newest too. from Miyamoto Models. <laughs> How do you guys feel about the chain reactions? Are you guys into The them? sneakers? Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with uh, them. Certain colorways I do like. I like the all black better. I like a Goku boot that he I just mean, had he's on. a I mean, main part of the identity of the shoe, so it works for him, but maybe not for everybody. Now, another All Star Weekend is in the books, and unfortunately, our premiere episode is almost in the books. Hey! hey! 
Hey. Listen, we're doing our goddamn thing. Pops Chris Style. Now, this Saturday on ABC, the playoff fight continues as James Harden heads to the Bay to take on the other worst dressed NBA player, Steph Curry, when the Rockets yeah. take on the Warriors. He should just show up to the games like that. Yo, this is a way better look. This That's is best a look. fire fit that he didn't have. This is, both of, their, this is both of their best look. Look right at that here. fit. Look at that <laughs> fit. Clap look it up for them. They got it fit. together on this one. Now, let's kick it over to one of hip hop's biggest stylists, my man Derek, for his tunnel look prediction. Thanks, Tunnel Takedown team. So I know we've been looking back a lot at All Star, but I want to look ahead. One of the big things we saw coming off of fall was outerwear. We saw everything from fireman jackets to dope three quarter length coats. But one of the big trends for spring is neon color. It's definitely bold, it's gonna be fun to style with, and it's definitely gonna be an eye catcher. I can't wait to see our favorite class clown, Russell Westbrook, implement hot pink into his fits. One of the things I don't wanna see down the tunnel is skin tight pants. The silhouette is changing and we need to give those nut huggers to the goodwill. Thanks guys. Now, if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure to add a line in the comments or head to at Complex Sports and let us know who you think is the best and worst dress in the league. We don't give a fuck. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Well, I will see you guys at a meeting after this. Mm -mm. Wow. But we will see you guys next week on Tunnel Takedown, Peace only out. on Complex. Hey, Cheers. Squad, peace out.